And with the Japanese culture, um, they obey authority blindly. They obey academics. They obey government officials. And even they cannot uh, protect themselves from things that are very obviously life-threatening, including uh, the effects of this Fukushima disaster. Now, uh, Prime Minister Khan has a powerful ally in Professor Shinichi Yamashita. He is a UN representative or agent. He worked at the WHO, the World Health Organization, in Europe, and he is a uh, professor at Nagasaki University, which uh, seems to be part of the um, these um, uh, academic whores who are going on television constantly from the University of Nagasaki and the University of Tokyo to assure the public that everything is safe and they can go on with their lives normally and the radiation is actually good for you and all kinds of baloney like that. So, um, uh, Professor Yamashita was recently appointed advisor on uranium, on the radiation issue to the Fukushima pro, uh, province or, or prefecture. Um, there was such an outcry against him that, um, that it, the government considered in the, in Fukushima government considered uh, withdrawing his um, appointment. But then he was appointed by the national government to be vice president of Fukushima University to oversee a $1.26 billion Japanese government study of Fukushima residents over the next 30 years. So the government is unwilling to evacuate 350,000 children in that radiation zone that's higher than Chernobyl and they are willing to fund a $1.25 billion project to study these radiation guinea pigs over the next 30 years. Um, Professor Yamashita, uh, on his first visit to Fukushima, where he went around and talked to communities everywhere, said, these are some of his quotes, pro, uh, um, quote, the effects of radiation do not come to people that are happy and laughing. They come to people that are weak-spirited, that brood and fret. Um, he uh, also went to uh, the mothers, pregnant mothers even, and told them that exposure to 100 millisieverts will not have any effect, health effect on them or the baby. Remember the number, 100, compared to that, the Soviet Union required a mandatory evacuation during Chernobyl at 5 millisieverts. This is 20 times higher. How can Japan, uh, which suffered Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which, quote, supposedly, uh, you know, has rational people, how can they uh, put in a, um, a mind control agent like this fellow who says, stay in 100 millisieverts with your unborn, baby. un unborn babies when the, the Russians, the Soviets, uh, evacuated people at five, at, at five, yeah, at five millisieverts. Bring us inside what is going on here. Is this like Japan is ruled by Rockefeller and the British Crown? Is that basically what, what's going on? Well, basically, yes, because when World War II ended, MacArthur and the U.S. military took over, along with General Lonsdale, Colonel Lonsdale, who was a CIA agent, or OSS. And um, what they did was the Japanese... Uh, railroad unions and the student movements and the Japanese population were so excited that they thought they were getting a democracy, that America was bringing a democracy to them and they would finally be out from under the tyrannical rule of the Japanese imperial family, which has ruled Japan for one 
thousand years continuously. And what happened instead is that the money that was looted from 12 Southeast Asian countries in China, uh, and that's 5,000 years of accumulated wealth from international trade between it, within that region, that's a huge amount of money. And it was so much gold, the London bankers didn't even know that much gold existed in the world. That was divided into two funds. <clears throat> and this is all described in the book, Yamashita's Gold, or the Gold Warriors. Uh, Yamashita's Gold and how the U.S. got a hold of it. The U.S. got a lot of that loot, divided it into two funds. One fund was for uh, setting up post-World War II Japan. And that money was used to set up the war criminals from World War II, the Japanese war criminals, set up the political parties, the parliament, and the whole political uh, apparatus infrastructure for Japan. So, it's really the partners of the British and Dutch crown monarchies that are running Japan now, and the whole country is taken over and um, uh, just uh, run by the Rockefellers. Sony, which we think is a Japanese corporation, actually stands for Standard Oil of New York, which is the Rockefellers. And the Rockefellers bought Hiroshima and Nagasaki when uh, the, uh, the cities were radioactive <laughs> nuclear disasters and bought them for almost nothing and rebuilt them. Now, Hiroshima and Nagasaki are still radioactive because I worked at the Lawrence Livermore lab and walked into a lab in the environmental department one day and there were rock cores from, I didn't know where they were from, I just said, where are those from? What, what, what are you doing with those? And the science, a scientist nonchalantly said, oh, we go to Hiroshima and Nagasaki every three months and send a team there. Uh, or perhaps six months to collect uh, specimens because Hiroshima is still radioactive and Nagasaki is too and so are the people we're studying them too. This was in 1991. They've been studying them every year, sampling humans and the environment uh, since 1945. So, so of course... So, uh, uh, so th this is actually a genocide that has yes. been being studied since yes. 1945. Yes. Uh, organizations like the Lawrence Livermore Laboratory are m monitoring this such yes. that when the false flag operation of Fukushima occurs, which we know the CIA had a hand in because of the Stuxnet virus, we know that the International War Crimes Racketeering Organization, namely the British Crown, has a hand in because of the heart so yes. we're dealing with a genocide that has been carefully monitored since 1945 yes. with a trigger pull on March 11, 2011 with the build-up toward the marrying of Prince William and his consort, the future king, uh, sort of, and we know that he, that, that he qualifies under the protocols as the, quote, king of the New World Order or the future king of the Zionists. So is that kind of the picture? That's exactly the picture. Yeah. And, and just to make sure that people believe or understand how uh, the Dutch are participating, uh, they did many horrible things in their colonies. So they're just as capable as the British of doing horrific things. And the, um, I was talking to the Manhattan Project scientist who's mentored and taught me all of this. And um, I was talking about the air, airport scanners, these backscatter x-ray machines to, uh, to x-ray the, the passengers and they're causing horrific health problems. And he said... Who's building those? Where are those coming from? I said, well, I think it's Michael Chertoff, and um, he's the head of Homeland Security, apparently. He has a company manufacturing them. Yeah, yeah, and Marion folks said, no, no, no. 
It's an old company that's been doing this for a long time. So I looked on the internet while we were on the phone. He's 92. 90. And up popped Philips Electronics in uh, um, Arnhem, uh, Holland. That's who is manufacturing the x-ray scanners at the airports. And this is also part of the depopulation. Um, now, and, why and, is... And, and, th and that's a company of the Dutch crown. Yes. Yeah, right. And, so and this is where the, the biggest... population is coming in that ties into 9-11. And oh, these yes. are plans that have been going on since World yes. War II. And British Petroleum, the disaster in the Gulf and Hurricane Katrina, right. and the Haiti earthquake and the Sumatra earthquake in Fukushima is just another wrecking the environment demonstration. These are all demos, demonstrations to them. Uh, now, why did I include uh, Professor Shinichi Yamashita in this report? It's because he epitomizes the government and government scholars who told them all along that radiation from Fukushima 1 nuke plant was at a totally safe level. And there was nothing to worry about. It was all in your head. Uh, foreign news media are lying. Eat, drink, play, live as normal. It turned out to be anything but normal for Fukushima, for Japan, for North America, for the islands in the Central Pacific, and now for the entire Northern and Southern Hemisphere. It's not just nothing. Now, immediately after the accident, Yamashita was sent by the uh, national government to major cities and towns in Fukushima to address the concerns of the citizens. He addressed them by saying radiation was nothing to worry about. It was all in their heads. Um, <laughs> Fukushima would be world famous, so they shouldn't miss this great opportunity. And the residents should stay put. Don't move, in other words. Well, the Fukushima prefecture had been offering uh, free vacations in the summertime to families with children to get out of the contaminated area. But last week, they withdrew that offer and canceled <coughs> the upcoming vacations of many Fukushima families who had already made uh, reservations and... Um, planned the, the trip out of the, the disaster zone uh, for their children, uh, uh, which uh, the, the summer vacation begins uh, in about two weeks in Japan, the whole month of August they take off. So all of a sudden, uh, the rug is jerked out from under them, and uh, maybe that was just a teaser or a placebo temporarily until it came time to really send them out of the prefecture, and then the, the rules change. Now, the third character that I wanted to cover is Wataru Mizumachi. He is a former uh, president of the Japan Nuclear Energy Safety Organization, which is JNES, the Information System on Occupational Exposure, ISOE, which has an Asian branch, but it's global. It's uh, pretty much headquartered in the United States and very tied to the University of Illinois at Champaign. Uh, they have a nuclear uh, engineering, uh, nuclear uh, and plasma engineering department there. And uh, they are very, very uh, wrapped up with the Health Physics Society and um, the IAEA. And they're also involved with TEPCO now. Uh, it's a global network of really, basically, it's the spin doctors. Um, he, uh, Mr. Mizumachi, well, also co-authored a paper that was presented at the 2008 Beijing World uh, 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 Conference on um, it, um, earthquake engineering. 